Hello YouTube, Civilian Snowman here and today I'm going to be reviewing Funny People, the new film directed by Judd Apatow and this is of course the dude who directed The 40 Year Old Virgin, which is brilliant and knocked up as well and he's also like a big shot producer and he's um, produced loads of comedies such as um, Anchorman, The Legend of Ron Burgundy and Step Brothers. The film follows George Simmons played by Adam Sandler who finds out he has a variation of leukemia and he's dying so he has to kind of deal with that while he befriends um, a joke writer and stand-up comedian called um, Ira Wright played by Seth Rogen and basically they uh, build a friendship while George thinks he's dying and then halfway through the film, now this isn't a spoiler because it's given away in the trailer, George finds out that he's actually cured of the disease and then it shows how he deals with that news. People have been praising Adam Sandler's performance in this movie saying that he's brilliant. I actually found him to be quite, um, not necessarily dull, but he just didn't do as much with it as I thought he would. Although I did enjoy the parallels between his life and the life of the character, such as they both started off in stand-up comedy and the film even starts with um, video clips of Adam Sandler doing prank calls when he was in college with Judd Apatow, the director. So um, I like the parallels that he started off doing stand-up comedy and stuff like that and then he um, started into film and ended up just making a run of shit films. So he's essentially playing an exaggeration of himself. And he didn't really bring the gravitas to the performance that we know he's capable of. I mean, anybody who's seen Rain Over Me or Punch Drunk Love will know that Adam Sandler can act. He is a tremendous tremendous actor and I just didn't feel like he was completely invested in this film which is weird considering that the the, uh, the character was essentially himself so I thought Adam Sandler's performance was a little bit of a letdown. I did think that Seth Rogen did a brilliant job in this movie now this is an actor who I really like and I've liked him since I saw him in The 40 Year Old Virgin which I think is the first time I, um, I saw him in film and I really dig Seth Rogen, however the roles that he's had, like the 40 year old virgin knocked up and this is especially evident with Zack and Miri make a porno, the Kevin Smith movie, it doesn't feel like he's playing a role, it feels like he's just playing himself all the time and that he's not creating a character, he's just being himself on camera because he's funny and stuff, because he is funny, you know, but you don't want to see him play himself in every role and that's why the, uh, the character of Ira Wright that he plays in Funny People it's actually a really co a, a good character. He's like a fully fleshed out character, and yes, he is similar to Rogan um, in some aspects. But it just um, Rogan brings more um, emotion to this character, and actually makes an effort to play a part other than himself. So I was actually I actually think Seth Rogan is one of the best things about this film. Supporting roles come from um, actors such as Jonah Hill from Superbad and Jason Schwartzman from like The Darjeeling Limited, and. Um, these guys are always really funny when they're together, but um, I think after seeing this kind of rapport between them, I mean, uh, Jonah Hill was in Knocked Up, Jason, Jason Schwartzman, bit of a mouthful there, um, is, you know, I don't think he was in Knocked Up, was he? Um, unless he had like a cameo role or something, but they were all together in like Knocked Up and, you know, it was really funny, the rapport between all the different actors, and I just felt like Funny People was kind of a repeat, and some humour fell flat and I thought the humour in Knocked Up was genuinely flat out funny but some of this just kind of fell flat on me but um, I mean I am glad to see like people like Jonah Hill in the movie because he has great chemistry with Seth Rogen so the scenes they share together are brilliant but I just don't feel like they reached the peak which they, they were more than capable of reaching. Now onto the problems that I had with this movie and it's only really um, a couple. First of all the stand-up comedy segments, while funny, are just nothing compared to what I'm used to watching and now this is going to sound biased but trust me it's not because it's where I'm from. I've always believed that British or English stand-up comedy is the funniest on the planet and that's not because I'm being patriotic or biased or any of that because I'm seriously not that kind of person. Um, but I've always felt that just British and English stand-up comedy was the best on the planet, like I said. And to see something so brilliant like that and then go into a film which is about stand-up comics, starring stand-up comics, written by an ex-stand-up comic, you expect it to really just 
floor you with its humour, but it doesn't. And yes, it's worth a giggle and the dick and fart jokes and the ball jokes, you know, they make you chuckle, but there's just no flat out belly laughs in it like I was expecting. You know, I was expecting so much more from the stand up comedy segments of this movie, and I just didn't get them. And I think that's because I set my expectations too high. I mean, I have, um, I do have quite high expectations when it comes to um, stand up comedy and high standards. And I think after seeing all the, the, uh, up and coming British comedians which are just genuine geniuses um, after seeing that and going into funny people it just can't match up but that's just my personal opinion I'm, sh I'm sure that some people out there are going to love the stand up comedy segments of funny people but I just think for anybody who's actually like um, not a snob but anybody who is into stand up comedy and you know has seen a lot of it will probably feel the same way that funny people does kind of lack behind the rest that brings me to the main problem I have with this movie, and it is the runtime. I mean, the movie's about two and a half hours long, maybe a bit longer than that. And it's not the fact that it's a long movie, it's the fact that about halfway through, as you've seen in the trailer, um, George Simmons, played by Adam Sandler, discovers that he's not ill anymore and that he's cured. Now, I think that that was the perfect place to end the film, not because all the plot strands were tied up, right? Because they weren't. You'd need to add... 15 20 minutes to kind of tie up the loose ends and maybe leave a bit ambiguous stuff like that but as for the emotional arc of the characters it felt like it reached its natural conclusion like an hour 90 minutes into the movie when he finds out that he's well you know you kind of expect it to just like tie up the loose ends and the credits to roll and it would have been a brilliant experience it would be a four star film if they had ended it at the 90 minute mark but you get over an hour more after he finds out as well. And to be honest, it doesn't, the standard it doesn't match up to what came in the first half. It feels like you've watched a really good movie and then you've put the deleted scenes on. And while it is funny and it's still, you know, good, it's worth watching, it just does not match up. It, it doesn't feel like a, a, a well-rounded film with this extra hour of footage. The 90 minute mark was the perfect place to end the movie and it would be Judd Apatow's masterpiece if they'd done that but because they didn't it turned into kind of a sloppy mess towards the end so yeah that's my main problem with the movie. Having said all that I'm going to give funny people three stars Um like I said if they had ended it at the 90 minute mark it would be a four star movie and probably Judd Apatow's best but because it's over long I can only give it three because it just doesn't feel like um, a well rounded movie like I said it feels like it needs the scissors taken to it so yeah I thoroughly recommend it to any fans of Judd Apatow because the humour is in the same vein as the 40 year old virgin and knocked up it mixes um, um, emotional drama and w well written characters with you know the dick and fart jokes and everything it's like um, the films that uh, Kevin Smith was making in the mid 90s right so I fully recommend it to anyone it's just a shame it's too long and not very well edited but apart from that it has a good soundtrack and everything it is a good night at the cinema, so yeah, recommended. Three stars from me. Alright, well thank you for listening to this review, I hope you've enjoyed it. This is Civilian Snowman signing out, I'll see you later. Bye.